potential for one fall. Here it is, sing first from Chelsea, England. Being accompanied to the ring by the dagger. She is the Temptress. To Temptress and the dagger making their way to the ring. These two like to play mind games with their opponents like nobody else. But this isn't a tag team match. This is Temptress, and she will be wrestling in a singles match. The Temptress bringing the whip into the ring. Again, it's a part of that psychological warfare. She's trying to psych out Chantilly Chella before she even sets foot in the ring. Chantilly Chella is not one to be intimidated by the likes of these two. Dagger will be on the outside, Temptress in the ring. And her opponent from Indio, California, She is ready to go. She brings the party with her. Why don't you take your hair? I notice you've got a little new hairdo, Mr. Dickey. Yeah. And get a little purple spike on it. <laughs> Some flavor on your head. Well, she represents all of WOW with that purple hair. She might be a good role model for all of us to follow. <laughs> Referee OD signaling for the bell. Chantilly Chella and the Temptress. This crowd loves Chantilly Chella. She's got him right where she wants her. They're doing a woo woo. The Temptress is not impressed, though. She locks up with Chantilly Chella. Collar elbow tie up, waist lock. The Temptress has Chantilly Chella down on the ground already early in this contest. Wrist lock by Chantilly Chella. Speaking of contest, Steven, you know, tonight, Tag Team Championship Series action coming up next, fans, when it's the Southern Pride girls, Amber O'Neill, in that make and wrestling great again, Jesse Jones in there against fire and adrenaline. That is coming up tonight, fans. And then the main event, we'll have the champion, Tessa Blanchard, in there against the Lioness. Clearly, clearly, fans, Tessa Blanchard using that open contract and a conspiracy or something with Lana Starr listening maybe to Sofia Lopez. And for the purposes of arranging it, the Lioness gets an opportunity tonight at the championship. If Tessa wins, she will have to wrestle Jungle Girl. I'm telling it to you, fans. She will not be able to avoid Jungle Girl. And if the Lioness wins, she'll become the second youngest wrestling champion of WOW in history. It's all coming up tonight. Chantilly Chella hits a Hurricane Rana. Right there on the Temptress, arm drag, and Temptress is reeling. The Temptress back into the rope. Chantilly out, monkey flip. Chantilly's got the crowd behind her right now. Everybody here in LA loves Chantilly Chella. So do I with that beautiful cape she brings into the ring. Being pushed off by the Temptress. Oh, possible pit. Earlier you mentioned Southern Pride. Speaking of which, what do you think the Dixie Darlings were doing in the locker room earlier? To me, it looked like they were stealing the boots. Well, I think it was a little Southern hijinks. Oh, my. Temptress has Chantilly Chella down in the ring. But Amber and Jesse better find those boots. If Amber and Jesse don't, can they compete? Can they compete if they don't have their boots? Well, I've never, I've never been. Interesting conundrum we come across. I've never been questioned with that, but I'm sure the two of them have played before and wrestled around the farm without any boots or shoes on. You raise a good point there, David. Tetris with the elbow smash into the corner. Chantilly Chella. Snapmare. Tetris went for the bicycle kick. Schoolboy by Chantilly went to kick out. Chantilly almost had her. Chantilly is quick. Temptress up, though, with that clothesline, but she's off balance. Temptress has taken a lot of damage in this match already. Chantilly, though, she's the one down on the match. She's the one who needs to recover. Temptress seems to have control of this match once again. She picks her up. Pendulum backbreaker. Chantilly's down. That lumbar not getting any love. One, two, and a kick out. 
Chantilly has a speed advantage. She does. And Temptress has figured out you take out the lower back and you take away the speed advantage. And that was her goal there with that maneuver. Absolutely, you can't run with a back injury, now can you? Now she's choking Chantilly Show on the bottom rope, trying to drive the wind out of her. Temptress, she's got Chantilly Show up for a suplex. Ooh, baby. The Temptress almost mocking the crowd in their woo-woo that we heard earlier from yes. Chantilly Cella. Well, that's out of the question now, but Chantilly smartly rolled in toward the ring versus the opposite way where Dagger was awaiting her. That's right, good, good intelligent maneuver there by Chantilly to roll out of the way of the Dagger. Possible choke, ref says no. Temptress can't believe Chantilly's still fighting back in this one. She's throwing a lot at her already. She might have to throw the kitchen sink at her to keep her down to this one. You know, Temptress, thought to be the seductive, nice one, she's got a mean streak in her, and you just saw a little of it. Absolutely. She usually walks into her matches with a height advantage, as we've seen over most of her opponents, and she uses that to her. To, to, she uses that skill to very well. Chantilly showing the skills of her feet, taking the Temptress down. She just took the taller competitor down, trimming a tree there. Meteora, double knees to the chest, one. Two, kick out by the Temptress. Temptress has to get back to her vertical base, using that height advantage over Chantilly Cella. Chantilly Cella is gaining her win. She's gonna get that speed back. Here we go, running knee to the corner. Going up high, high risk here. Chantilly going to the high red district. Drop kick, beautifully executed across the lane. Two, kick out by the Temptress. David, you were ready to ring the bell, but I think that was a little presumptuous. Yes, Dagger on the outside was cheering on the Temptress. You know, lately we've seen the Dagger, we saw in that tag team match earlier, Dagger dropping off the ropes. But we haven't seen her being as instrumental in the Temptress's matches. Do you think there's a little love loss between these two? Are things not so perfect on Temptation Island? Chips and love end often. Oh, there we go, the dagger. The dagger finally, finally becoming an instrumental piece here for the Temptress. But Chantilly Cella. Chantilly Cella's still feeling it. Oh, oh she went through that rope. No one there. Luckily, she landed on her feet. Big boot to the face by the Temptress. Both competitors on the outside. The fans watching with a close-up look right here. The Temptress. That seductive gaze has become an intimidating scowl as she shouts at these fans on the outside. Chantilly Cella gets rolled into the ring by the Temptress. Temptress climbs back in. She's ready to, she's ready to crack the whip. She's got Chantilly up. But Chantilly's fighting. Chantilly's still got a lot of spirit left in her. She still hears the music from the festival. Nice kiss. Took her right out. It's gotta be it. One, two, three. That's all she wrote. Here's your winner, Chantilly Chella. Chantilly Chella with a huge victory over the Tetris. Let's see that replay with that kick right to the back. That of the kick right was hand. So fast. We gotta see it in slow motion. There it is. Beautiful spinning kick. Temptress was down. Look at that. Bingo. Pow, right to the kisser. One, two, three.